Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. In this video, I'm going to be doing a haul. This is all makeup items and it's from like Ulta Marshalls and some I've ordered and I also have stuff sent to me from Octoly. So it's just a nice big makeup haul and I also have some clips of me going to get some makeup so yeah but anyways um without further ado let's go ahead and get started first of all i'm going to be doing the haul portion of the video and the clip so i'll go ahead and show the clips that i've got i barely got any just a heads up so i'm just gonna do that and then i'll go to the haul They literally got a clip at Ulta and then we stopped at TJ Maxx, but I got nothing at TJ Maxx. I didn't really have much, so we're going to Marshalls now. We've done it. Both of those stores are all three of those stores. Now back to you, Ashlyn. As you can tell, there are like no clips at all, barely. But anyways, I'll go ahead and show you what I got from Ulta. So like I said, I'm going to do the haul portion and then I'll do like a trying on portion at the end. Okay, so the first thing I got was the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. I've been wanting to try this out for so long. Uh, I got the shade 00 Light Natural and I'm really hoping this shade will work. It looks like a little bit dark, but hopefully I can make it work. And then I also got the Makeup Revolution concealer i've also been really wanting to try this out and also don't mind my really ratchet nails i got this makeup revolution concealer and i've actually been really wanting to try this out because supposedly it's supposed to be a dupe for the shape tape so maybe if it kind of is then i'll do like a dupe video i got this shade c3 but like i was saying i re have really been wanting to try this out but they haven't had my shade for so long so i was looking through the essence makeup and i saw in a random place this concealer was just sitting there and i was like perfect and it was all sealed up and everything it doesn't look like a terrible shade match it may be a tad bit light but again we can probably make it work and then i got another essence lash and brow gel mascara because i ran out of my other one completely so happy about this and it's only like three dollars um but then i also got the essence get big lashes volume curl mascara looks like that i've actually never really heard anyone talk about this and i've never really seen it but i think it's really cool because i always curl my lashes so it's supposed to help my lashes curl i'm just ready to try this out plus i was needing new mascaras okay next is marshall's i didn't get any makeup products but i got makeup related items so the first thing i got was this brush cleaning palette thing and it's by the brand precision precision beauty it was literally on sale for three dollars so i was like why not and every time i clean my brushes i always use my hand or something like that and it makes my hand feel really weird at the end it has a weird film from all the soap that i've used and so i thought this was really cool it has like different like things for small medium and large brushes it'll make cleaning brushes easier i guess then i got two sponges which i thought was really cool that they had so they had the real techniques sponge that i always use it's only 3.99 at marshall's and they're usually like six dollars at target so and then i also got another real technique sponge but this is like the diamond one and i thought this one was really cool because i love real technique sponges so i thought this would just be like the same but in a different shape, which is really cool because it has like the smaller tip at the end. So I think it'll be easier for concealer. And it also has a big flat side for like blending out your foundation. Oh, and I don't know if I said, but this is $4.99. And I only got one thing at Target when I went. And so I got the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I got this because I heard it's a dupe for the BTS Mascara by Too Faced. The wand looks like this, which is a lot like the bts mascara a lot of people say it's clumpy but honestly i'm not having a problem with that and then i got one thing off of the morphe website which was the morphe 35b palette i have used this two times for the same two looks because i love the look so much it's actually the the look that i did for my profile picture at the moment it's if you're seeing this around the time that i got my profile picture updated anyways the palette looks like this if you haven't seen it yet but it's a really really nice colorful palette i might use it in today's look and then i got three things sent to me through octoly which i'll go into further detail at the end but first of all i got the sacha mattifier face primer 
And if you follow my uh, makeup Instagram, you will have seen this on my story because I'm doing like Octoly unboxings on there. And then I also got this Artiste Brushcraft brush. Okay, so it looks like this. And I was really confused at the beginning because I thought I ordered an Artiste brush, which long story short, I did, but it's Brushcraft by Artiste. So it's like, Artiste made this brush, but it's a br Brushcraft brush if that makes any sense at all. And then the next thing I was super duper excited for, but it's the Becca Gradient Glow Highlighter thing. It looks like that. I think it is super pretty. Um, I'll do like swatches and it'll be on my face later in the video. Okay, that was all for the haul and now I'm going to do a more try on portion. I'm gonna be testing out the makeup that I've gotten and then also if I don't have the makeup item that I haven't tried, I'm just gonna use my regular. So I'm first gonna use the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. So I just did my brows pretty natural and I'm gonna use the Essence Lash and Brow Gel. First of all, before we go, I'm just, we're just gonna take a nice moment to realize how clear it is because it's about to get all bubbly. But like I said, I've used this before. Then I'm going to use the Sacha Mattifier Face Primer, like I mentioned earlier. It was sent to me through Octoly. And first of all, the smell. It smells very rosy. So if you don't like that, I don't know how much you would like this because it, it, it does smell very rosy. I don't mind it too much. As far as mattifying goes and the whole primer thing, it's pretty good. Uh, it's like not my favorite primer, but it's really not bad. Like it's not a bad primer So if you want to buy it the link will be in the description But yeah, it's really not bad at all and it does seem decently hydrating to be a mattifying primer So that's pretty cool But yeah, as I can I'm like seeing that it is mattifying my forehead pretty decently. Well, that's pretty much just a basic primer <laughs> It's legit but this whole time and I haven't had my lights on so now I'm going to move on to foundation, which I'm super excited for. Um, again, the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I love that it has a pump because I only have one other foundation with a pump and I really enjoy that. Okay, you know what? Actually, I'm going to wet this sponge first and I'll be right back. Oh my gosh. This, it got bigger, but it's so soft and I think it's softer than my other Real Techniques sponge like the regular orange one um, which I did get another one of but I think I'm gonna enjoy this so much holy crap this one is so soft back to the foundation I'm gonna try to pump some out okay it seems like it's gonna be a nice thick full coverage foundation and I'm gonna use my finger first to kind of dot it on okay so it's probably not gonna be my shade but And take this sponge this sponge is like as big as my cheek Ooh, okay so i'm liking this so far it's really it's blending into being a decent shade match it's still not the best shade match but it's really not that bad another thing that i like about this foundation is that it isn't like the wet and wild one where it's cakey and it dries fast like this does not dry super fast so you have nice work time even though it is a nice thick full coverage foundation it still gives you time to work with it so that's really good so i can see myself using this a lot i mentioned how much this foundation was but it is 9.99 at ulta and then for concealer i'm using the makeup revolution concealer so glad i don't have acrylics on right now not really but for the packaging i am because it's one of those plastic packagings but anyways i'm really hoping this shade is good so i've seen the applicator in store but if you don't know what it looks like it looks like this it's way smaller than the shape tape concealer wand but it is a nice size um it's not your regular size concealer wand Ooh, okay i think it's gonna be a nice shade i don't know how much to use so i'm just gonna kind of wing it so i don't really use my shape tape concealer as much as I used to. It does seem to be working somewhat like the shape tape. I think the main thing is like the wand is pretty similar to the shape tape. So that concealer is making me look a little ghostly, but I am liking the concealer so far and I'll definitely be using it in the future. Okay, but now I'm going to set my face, bronzer, blush, and highlight, and then I'll be back. 
So I have decided against eyeshadow today. Um, I do love this palette so far, but I might end up doing a separate video on this palette. So let me know if you want to see that. I don't think I've ever skipped eyeshadow. I hate skipping eyeshadow. So now moving on to mascara. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Okay, so before I move on to anything else, I'm going to use this Becca Gradient Glow little highlight thing like I mentioned earlier. This was sent to me through Octoly like I said and I have been really really liking this. I think it's super good, super glowy and I'm going to use it with the Brush Craft Oval 6 brush like I mentioned earlier once again. Again sent to me through Octoly. Yeah so I'm going to use the bottom, okay I'm going to use the middle shade in this, the middle shade the bottom shade and then the top shade and I'm gonna add it as a glowy bronzer so we're going for a glowy look today after we've added the full coverage look also by the way this is the pixie highlighter and I forgot how much I liked it <laughs> so I like using this brush with this product because I think it works super well and it helps blend it out. This brush is super soft. As for the Becca product, I think it's super good, super easy to blend, and it's super blinding as like a highlighter. So that's a great multi-use product. Then with the same brush and the same product, I'm going to take this red type shade. This is the Rose Gold Highlighter by Becca obviously and I'm gonna use that as a blush I think it's a really pretty blush shade especially if you're into like shimmery blushes which personally I'm not but this is really pretty as a blush and pretty natural as well and again with the same things I'm going to take the highlighty shade for my skin tone it's called moonstone I think this is a stunning highlighter um I've actually wanted the full size of moonstone but it's so pretty if I get the right angle to show you but it's super duper pretty hopefully you guys can see it pretty well but so you can buy all of these shades in their full size if you wanted to or you can get this for like an all-in-one which I personally really like the link for both of these items will be in the description below so I'm just gonna add a little bit of bronzer onto my eye I'm literally using my finger and now I'm going I just like bit my <laughs> my tongue and now i'm going to use the essence get big lashes volume curl mascara it's this one i believe it was 3.99 and my eyelashes are a bit curled from today because i literally just curled them to go shopping and no other makeup but i guess this will really test them to see if they will make them more curly or if it'll keep the curl whoa it's already making my eyelashes look super long Ooh, okay, wow, I love this so far. So far, I've loved Essence mascaras. Like, any Essence mascara that I've tried are really good. I okay, um, like I was saying, I've tried pretty much- Okay, I've tried all the Essence Lash Princesses- <laughs> Lash Princess mascaras, and I love them. I rave about them all the time, especially on my Instagram lives. Like, every and if anyone asks me what my favorite mascara is, it's usually the Essence, ma Essence Lash Princesses. So I love all of those, and this one- I'm loving as well. Shocker. I love Essence, honestly. It's such a nice, cheap, affordable brand, but it has great quality products. Oh my gosh, I think that's like, yeah, I think that's all of the stuff that I got, really. Okay, uh, now I'm just gonna finish it off with the Fenty lip gloss. I haven't shown it to you guys on this channel yet, so I guess this is a new thing to you guys, but if you want to know my thoughts on it, I love it. <laughs> Okay, so this is the final look. I love how it turned out. I love everything that I got, honestly. Like, I think it's really good. I don't think I got anything that I didn't like. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys would like more videos like this, like if I did a haul slash try on thing, then let me know because I think this was really fun to do. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'll never stop, bye, bye.